Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. This is Bella with Bella Hitana Tarot. So I wanted to bring you guys a reading for all the astrology signs for the month of August. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey Pisces, thank you so much for tuning in for your reading for the month of August. Let's just see what spirit wants you to know. We have heart song, inner knowing, telepathy, intuition. Werewolf spirit, wild, untamed desire, second house assets, musical messages, love songs. Wow. So I definitely feel, I definitely feel like you are starting to be in touch with your intuition, with your higher self. You know, you have that desire to roam free and not be bogged down by rules or anything. You know, you're you're running wild, basically. <laughs> and, you know, when it comes to the material world, you're very mindful of what you invest your money into, like what, you know, what you feel secure in. It says here, like, material world possessions. I feel like this month uh, you're really thinking about what's going on in your physical world when it comes to your finances. And then we have musical messages, love songs. So I feel like there could be songs that come on and that's how you know your inner knowing tells you this song is from somebody that you're thinking about. Okay. Let's just see what else. So for heart song we have four of pentacles and eight of wands. So I definitely feel like you are sitting on this treasure chest <laughs> like you're hoarding um your own abundance like you don't want to share you don't want to share what you um got going on and and i feel like when it comes to communication you might think of it as negatively because we have that storm the tornado in the background so very interesting but I also feel like, you know, the Four of Pentacles is about not letting go. So this could also be related to a communication that was made towards you. Maybe your person communicated something to you and you're holding on to what they said. And it was something that was very dark. Something that really hurt you. That shook your world up, you know. And it really, um, it's interesting that we have Heart Song and Musical messages so it could also be that you're getting songs that remind you of what happened and this is why communication is here because it's a, it's a form of communication it could be that you're feeling like your person's not letting you go and you're it's like it's making you not let wanting to let them go either Pisces hmm very interesting okay so for wild Untamed Desire. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Interesting. Two queens. So. Wow, I'm going to have to draw another card for this. Very interesting. Because I had this happen in one of my other readings. Where I had to pull some tarot to see because I got like a king and a page on one of them. So let's see. Why is Queen of Pentacles here with Queen of Swords spirit? For wild, untamed. Wow, the Three of Pentacles. Interesting. Oh, and the Three of Swords at the bottom. Yeah, so it kind of gets a feeling that you were dating somebody who decided to go towards a third party okay and it broke your heart this person was wild untamed they had a lot of desire that lustful energy and this is what they wanted to do they wanted to uh, work on a different connection and didn't think about your feelings 
I feel like this is you right here, and this is the person that he um, left towards. Somebody that's not as in tune to their emotions, very cold, very direct. And this could have also broken their heart, but it's the decision that they made. Okay? So, when it comes to assets, we have the King of Wands. Hey, let me turn on this light because it's getting dark here. Okay, it's a little better. Okay. So, I definitely feel like this person was focused on the material world. Maybe they went to this third party because of money. But the two stands for partnership. So, I feel like this person made a call on who they wanted to be with based on status is what I'm getting here and the Empress reversed I mean I feel like that was you they left you behind it's like they betrayed you wow so let's see and this one usually I ask for three I mean for two and three came out so we have the Three of Cups. Interesting that we have that again. The Ace of Swords and the Six of Cups. Okay. So I definitely feel like you're getting songs from that remind you of your connection with this person when you were happy and celebrating, you know, together. You know, because you know the truth. You know that this person is your soulmate. If this is your twin flame, take it how it resonates. Or a soulmate. Um, but you know that these songs that come on, if you go, you also feel like that spirit communicating with you, letting you know that this person's gonna come back into your life. You guys will have a reconciliation, and you'll be able to celebrate because that person will have the truth. Maybe they didn't have the truth when they were with you, but usually when they go off on their own, that's when they start learning their lessons, the karmic lessons, and start putting the pieces together. So what does your person want you to know? I wonder if you're happy without me. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Wow. That definitely confirms that they want to come back and reconcile with you, that you can forgive them. And they're wondering if you're happy without them. And also, I feel like they knew that you were somebody special to them, but they were not listening to their intuition. So they went off. This wolf is facing this house of assets. Like he's money hungry, power hungry, lustful, untamed. And then when the songs come on, it takes them back to to you. Okay. Let's see what else. The screw in her work. Not interested, leaving quickly, in trouble, getting shafted, horizontal jogging, telling someone off. Heal yourself first. You'll attract what you are. Choose partners that want to grow with you. So I feel like this person was pretty much screwed up. Okay. And their energy. Very distorted. They were not ready to be your king of pentacles. Right. They needed to do inner work and healing. And I feel like you needed to heal from this situation too. So that you can attract somebody in your vibration that deserves you. Okay. This is what I'm getting here. And as far as your energy goes, you have the sacred temple and present power. So I feel like you're starting to take care of yourself. The sacred temple, that's like your body, your mind. You're starting to really take care of you. And the present power, interesting that we have a lion and a tiger. We're in a Leo season. So I feel like you're starting to tap into your masculine and feminine energy because the masculine is about the Leo energy. You know, that's lions are related to masculine energy. The tiger is related to feminine energy. So I feel like you are present in your power to be able to be balanced and and be able to teach others because this this guy is usually teaching them how to behave, right? And it's funny that we have the wild, untamed beast here because I feel like once you're able to tame your your energy. When this person tries to come back to you, you're going to be able to tame them. 
not like on purpose, but I feel like your vibration alone is going to motivate this person to want to be tamed, to want to really settle down with you and and stop with the back and forth, right? But it has to be them that, that comes to that conclusion. And then what Spirit wants you to know is surrender your frustration, because I know that was probably very frustrating, right? Somebody that was showing you that you were their person, but then they were acting different. So it says here, frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly, okay? So I definitely feel like that's what Spirit is saying. Make sure that you um, aren't frustrated because you're going to close yourself, yourself off from opportunities because you're trying to control things, okay? So the key to this is to make sure that you're not blocked, that you're taking a breath, you're centering yourself, meditating, you know, things like that, so that you can be able to look at it more balanced, right? Because we, ha we have that here. So your power comes from being balanced. That's what Spirit is saying. And you have all this light shining down on this person, so that's how you'll be able to navigate difficult situations when you are balanced and not letting things take you off balance not letting frustration take you off balance okay wow love it and then here look at this spirit is saying don't let your past hold you back pisces i love this because this is true it's like it may be easy to look at the bad side of things the south node like you're looking at the negative when things went south but Spirit is saying, don't let the past hold you back because this person taught you something. This person taught you that you needed to keep trusting yourself, that you need to heal from the situation, that this person didn't communicate that, you know, they really want forgiveness. And there was other factors involved when they went to this third party. It's not like it was something against you personally. This person was just not giving to you. Four of Pentacles is also a person that holds back. So this situation, even if it would have worked out, it would have still been chaotic. It would have been, you know, a turmoil right here, this tornado. It wouldn't have worked out. So be thankful that this happened the way that it did so that you can grow and really, really take stock of what's important. Okay, I forgot to give you your Divine Feminine Healing card. <laughs> okay, so we have Believe. I create my reality based on what I choose to believe. I never give up on my dreams. Wow. I love this because this is basically confirming what I, we just went over. Like, make sure that you are not letting the past hold you back, right? that you are choosing to believe that things have to happen for a reason. The bottom of the deck, we have time. I do not wait on others to fulfill my happiness. Exactly, Pisces. I feel like this is key for you because you do not want to let other people dictate your, your happiness. So I feel like this is a time that you needed to discover that your happiness comes from within, from you from who you are as a person, from your, what, what makes you come alive. And this detour, what have you, needed to happen so that you'll be able to appreciate the things in your life and look at it in a, from a different perspective. So I really hope that helps you. Um, let me know in the comments if it did. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs>